Hello and welcome to Cornerstones of Math. And if you watched my last video, then you know what this video is about, right? If you haven't watched my previous video, I highly recommend watch it first. The link is in the description or on the top right corner of the video. So in this video, we go 3D, the coordinate space. And instead of a line, we now have a plane. So for given point A, which is 1, 3, minus 5, and plane alpha, given as 3x minus 4y plus 7z minus 30 equals 0. This is the equation of a plane. Find point B such that A and B are symmetric with respect to plane alpha. And in 3D case like this, the vector method, which I used in my previous video, actually becomes the most efficient method. So let's use this method to solve the problem. First, let M be the midpoint of line segment AB, which is on this plane alpha. Just like the line has a direction vector, the plane has a normal vector, that is, the vector that is perpendicular to the plane. And here we have to use the following knowledge about the planes in coordinate space. Generally, the equation of a plane is given as AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals zero. Then, the normal vector of this plane is given as a, B, C. So we have to use this property. Then for this plane alpha, you can see that the normal vector n is 3, minus 4, 7 directly from this equation. Now let us find the equation of line AB. Since both vector n and AB are perpendicular to plane alpha, line AB and vector n are parallel. This means that vector n is also the direction vector of line AB. And I have already explained in the previous video how to find the equation of a line using direction vector. We let x as an arbitrary point on line AB and think about the position vector OX where this O is a reference point having coordinates 0, 0, 0. And this position vector OX can be obtained by vector OA plus vector AX. And since this vector AX is parallel to the direction vector of line AB and thus parallel to vector N, we can say vector OX is vector OA plus T times vector N, where T is a real number. This is the vector equation of line AB. If we use coordinates with point X as X, Y, Z, then x, y, z equals point A, so 1, 3, minus 5, plus t times vector n, so 3, minus 4, 7. So we have x, y, z equals 1 plus 3t, 3, 3 minus 4t, and minus 5 plus 7t. This is the parametric equation of line AB, where this t is called the parameter. Now this midpoint M, or the position vector OM, is also expressed in this form. Moreover, since this point M also must be on plane alpha, it also satisfies the equation of a plane. So we have 3 times x coordinate, 1 plus 3t, minus 4 times y coordinates, 3 minus 4t, plus 7 times z coordinates, minus 5 plus 7t, plus 30 equals 0. And if you simplify this, it just becomes 74t minus 74 equals 0, therefore t equals 1. So from this vector equation, when x equals m, we have vector om equals vector oa plus t equals 1, so plus vector n. Therefore, this vector am is given as vector OM minus vector OA, so it is just vector N, which is 3, minus 4, 7. Therefore, the position vector OB is given as vector OA plus vector AB, and this vector AB is twice the vector AM, so using this, we have 1, 3, minus 5 plus twice the vector 3, minus 4, 7. So we have 1, 3, minus 5 plus 6, minus 8, 14. So we have 7, minus 5, 9. Therefore, point B 
is given as 7, minus 5, 9. And that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe buttons. And as always, I will see you in another video.